If you recognize what this is, that means you're probably in the central vacuum business and you're probably an MD central vacuum dealer. And if you're in the central vacuum business and you're not an MD central vacuum dealer, then <clears throat> shame. This is the MD central vacuum cleanout unit, and it is available for purchase by MD dealers uh, used for removing blockages. And it's two motors, two three-stage 5.7-inch motors in air series. Uh, most MD central vac units historically have been dual motors in parallel, which gives you higher airflow, and the water lift is just whatever a single motor would produce. Well, to remove a blockage that's really jammed into the pipe, the idea was that more water lift would, would extract it faster, and it is quite effective. Uh, so this originally, when it when it was new, had a looped piece of half-inch conduit that came up and over the whole thing, and that was your grab handle to pick it up and carry it. And that, that broke off after not that long, and I added this handle, so this was my doing. Inside here is a little cloth bag that you can empty out of whatever. Oh, I didn't realize there was stuff in there. This cloth bag can be removed, and I, in fact, used to fit a paper uh, compact vacuum bag in here. Compact TriStar bags fit well. And uh, then I got lazy, and I started just upending the whole unit over a trash can to empty it. And so I haven't removed this cloth bag in a long time. But it's it's a just a little... It's about the size of a compact TriStar bag. And we do have a... Uh, a uh, pad filter underneath it. So it doesn't hold very much, but it'll hold whatever's clogging your tubes. And uh, it's also not very well sealed around the rim there. But And you would take a short length of hose and you'd plug it in here and then the other end would have a cuff that you would plug into the wall inlet. You would either go down and unplug the central vac unit, or you would just use a cuff that didn't have a metal band on it, and then it wouldn't activate. So this, each one of these motors, these are 116765 motors, the three-stage 5.7 um, that a lot of manufacturers used to use. Uh, each one of these gives you 135-ish inches of water lift. So two in series should give you... Oh, geez, two, what's that, 270? That's crazy. Uh, but it, it does really have a lot of water lift. And the problem is these motors are essentially Silent Master S5 motors, and the Silent Master S5 is rated at 27 amps of electrical consumption at, two, at 120 volts, uh, which this machine is 120 volts, of course. So... Trying to plug this into the, um, you know, some lady's living room electrical circuit means that you'll trip the breaker a lot. So my modification, this originally was just a toggle, um, like a light switch here, big heavy light switch. And uh, I thought, well, if we could get these motors to start in series, electrical series, and then switch them into parallel, then that would it would almost be like a soft start. And it would also give the machine a low speed because when you're taking your vacuum into somebody's house to unclog their system, you're probably also going to go down and clean the filters on their power unit. You know, your service vacuum is, is multifunction. So you don't need 270 inches of water lift to do that. So I did end up uh, making a low off high switch. And here is the... Ignore the lower right of this list. That was a Home Depot shopping list. Uh, this is the schematic. So if you want the motors wired in series, you just go one leg of power in through one motor, out one motor into the other, and then out. And this is also how you wire motors like to run in the brushes when you change brushes. Lamb tells you to put them in series like this. And then here's in parallel. This is how this unit is wired when you get it. Just hot to each motor, neutral to each motor. And this was my arrangement. So one of these, um, what's it called? Double pole, double throw switches. When you place it 
in one position, then the motors are connected in series. And when you place it in the other, then they're connected in parallel. And that's how this is done. And uh, it does work. So we'll start it in series. So that's, uh, that's that, and it is effective. I have actually stopped using this, and since then I've used several other service vacuums, but I found that really any blockage that a powerful single motor unit can't remove, this also probably can't remove. Sometimes you need a little more airflow behind that water lift to dislodge, especially a partial blockage. Um, so there's some point where this just won't do it for you. And uh, it is quite a heavy thing. I mean, these two motors, I mean, it's not fun to carry around all day long into people's houses. And uh, I also appreciate having something where the, the disposable bag is bigger and closed so that when I'm using it to clean beam filters, then all that crap isn't in here. It's, it's in a larger, usually a synthetic bag is what I'll use. But the older ones, I understand, that MD used to build had um, 115334 motors, which is a larger diameter 7.2 inch motor, two stage instead of three. And each one of those is rated at 110 inches of water lift, so that unit would be at 220 instead of this. I mean, you can't even put a water lift gauge on this thing um, when it's on high because it'll just bury the needle and break your gauge, and those don't exactly grow on trees. So, but... Just thought my like-minded central vac nerds would get a kick out of my MD cleanout unit.